Okay, 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 okay. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tuko hapa Facebook Live and YouTube Live. And don't miss this one, karibu sana. Just tag your friend homie to share it. And when Zako mwambia kuja tubalikuwe pamoja. Manekikia mba chuna kusoma usikuwa leo ni ni ujube muhimu sana ni ujube muhimu sana so just ambia mwenzako tumefika tumeingia muambia sichelewe muambia kuja tunenewe na mungu kwa jia ya kimajabu sana and I believe this message is for you it will change your life so get ready for this help me to share tag your friend ita mwenzako muambia karibu ita mpaka watu wa familia Tag to all your friends. Get that link to our YouTube. Pelekea marafiku mako. Waru wa Facebook. Help me to share to all those groups. Saidia watu kada wabarike. Maybe wame lose hope. Maybe wame fika mwisho. Maybe then someone ka brag. Keton, God bless you. Jerry Gasigo, ni tia Lillian. Muambia asi miss leo. Muambia asi miss leo. Ata kuwa melana amusha ye. Nani Saidina, God bless you. Nims, thank you. Kenaya, thank you. Doka, thank you. Nani Saidina. Goge, God bless you. Karaja Gracie. Anu watombo kwa hapa YouTube. God bless you. Hey, Pastor Jidraf, how are you doing? How is the church? I know sahi church ime guru sana. Wow, wow. Faith, how are you doing? God bless you. Karibu sana. Karibu sana, karibu sana. Ita mwenzako mwambie, this is the time. Noni? Ni tia Simon, ni tia Simon mwambia kuje, ita Simon mwambia kuje tuangalia vile maandiko anasema. Tunangalia both that understanding understanding your seasons by the way. Manake usipo understand the seasons zigine. You may miss it. Yeah. Naomi, thank you. Vero, thank you. So, thank you for them that are sharing. Mungo Mariksana, thank you. Thank you. Rusi, Rusina, thank you. Rachel, how are you doing? Wow, glory to God, Pastor Jidraf. Kanisa, thank you for what God is doing. We are happy for that. Thank uh, God bless you. God bless you for them that are sharing this. Anita, Chris, this one is good. This one is heavy. Mm. Genesis chapter number 8, verse number 22, Mary Kenneth. Genesis 8 verse number 22 as long as the earth remains. Kuna seasons nane zimetajwa mahali pale lazima zitakuwa. Seasons nane. Kila mtu na experience. Nani muhimu sana. Nani muhimu sana. Tutaingia pale nani. Lillian, thank you. God bless you. At least. At least. At least. At least. Hili ya nikamu bless you three tumekuona, baliku wa zana. Oh my God, oh my God. Kwa hivyo, get ready for this, get ready for this. Mary, baliku wa sana, Duta K, wow, leo mefika mapema. Anasama kama sharing, liking, na subscribing. By the way, kafura jikuna. We declare the healing of God in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare the healing of God. We declare the healing of God. We declare the healing of God. Mike and some of are watching from Mount Elgon. Some of you are wrong. Thank you for them that are sharing. Thank you for them that are tagging their friends. Ne muhimu sana. Yunus Michael. Michael umemuita eh. Shamga, why is Shamga na evangelist steaming? Just call, call them. Wambi wa kuja tubalikiwe. Yes. Just within one minute, hako tumeomba, tumeanza. Na tunanenewa na mungu. Tunasikiza Genesis chapter number 8 verse number 22. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ben Kima Kamahari. Hehehehe. Awe ule wana Felix bado haji ingia wako kwa nini? Wana ziada kuingia? Yes, thank you. Karo waini kekuri. Thank you, Nicholas Muri. God bless you. Asanti kwa watu wa mawa. Wow, wakaraja. How are you doing? Tom, nimekuona. 
Ha? Yes, but nitie zekio maundo alafu upitie hapo aita Felix, mwambie kuje. Mm. Na ukipata mpaka Hadi <laughs> ngine ziona hapo. <laughs> Ile ile mpatea. So, ene <laughs> Uh, Anita, God bless you, thank you. And uh, <laughs> get ready for this now as we pray. Tuko Genesis chapter number 8, verse number 22. Last time tulio na kwamba Noah immediately after kutoka kwa ak, the first thing alifanya are to a sacrifice of thanksgiving to God. Uh, <laughs> Kate and I saw what but you they love you pastor for you really teach us about Bible verses and we know more. Thank you, thank you. Glory to God. We are called for that. The more na do a Bible, the more fit you are grow. The more how to ngana kuomba. The more to ngana about fasting. The more how to ngana about after rebuking maroho. Ute ya kame ya kura hisa na maneke. Already you know yourself. You know God. Na una do a kili ambacho mumba na zafanya na kili ambacho na zidi kufanya na kili ambacho mefanya. Mm, Simon, karibu nishido kwa ni umechelewa leo mm. Baba katika jina takatifu Rabana iso kuiso Sante baba kwa nguvu zako Sante kwa kile mbacho nafanya na nime ishe yetu Umetenda miujiza father Hawa watu wabona nifuatilia Chochoto na hitaji babu mwapea Natangazo wana hitaji nguvu mwapea nguvu Wala mwana hitaji baba mugu kujazo Tena mwajaza tena Wala mwana hitaji kuinurua tena baba mwainua In the name of Lord Jesus Christ Natangaza baba nguvu zako Natangaza baba uwezo wako Natangaza baba mlaka Didihirishe baba jionyeshe Agano zote mbaya ni mezika a gun of Zotas and Pepper Mizikata, Natanaza Ushidua Kofad. I speak thy grace, I speak the anointing of God. Newewe Kimbi Leo, Newewe Teke Meo Bana, Newewe Mueza Wayote, Kamasi Owe Jehovah Tungakua Wapi, Kamasi Nguvu Zako Tungakua Wapi. We have seen you, Lord, Tumono Kikombo, Tumono Boki Noa, Tumekata Baba Maru Hoyote Nareta Magoya, Tumekata Gano Zotas Menuro Kinuma and Yumba Zetu Nawatuetu, Walebona Tadi Baba Kazu mepata, wale buwana wagojo baba umepona, wale buwana watu hawezi kuputembea wanatembea, wale buwana jointi zao baba zimekoma zinafunguka in the name of Jesus Christ, wale buwana kuna manano mabaya metamko, father we cancel those words, in the indabako in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare the finished work of the cross tumetangaza kuna mapepo na majinia na waweza, we declare kuna gano mbaya zita waweza Jehovah, we declare the power of resurrection we declare the power of resurrection we declare the power of resurrection. We declare the power of resurrection. Go. Let us go. Shido ki majabu ko hatu hawa. Wale wajo wana itaji connections no appear connections. Wale wana photo na ndoto mbaya ni mezika ta. Wale wana photo na moroho mboha yele weki father. We refuse those spirits. Tu metangaza bitu ya ki majabu. Tu metangaza ushido ki majabu. Hawa babo mwainua. Hawa babo mwatendea. Jehovah hawa mwafungu ya mirango. Thank you Lord. Kwa kile babo nafanya na kile bonatenda. Wewe ni tegemeo na wewe ni kimbilio. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na hata kuamini. Amen and amen and amen. So get ready as we study now Genesis chapter number 8 verse number 22. A very great verse na imebeba mambo mingi sana ambayo tunaenda kuyachambua. So just sabia mwenzako tuko hapa tumeanza tuko Facebook live tuko uh, YouTube live at the same time. Let's hear from God. Let's hear kile ambacho baba anataka tuelewe na tunabarikiwa pamoja manake the word of God is God. Anytime we receive the word of God we receive God. Anytime we receive this word your life changes completely. The seasons. Kwa maisha kwa the eight seasons ambayo tunaenda kuangalia kila mtu huwa anapitia these seasons. And if you have a son of a season, what are you supposed to do? Manaki, you may miss. Hmm? Kogo, are we together? <laughs> Patrick, thank you, thank you. So, Genesis chapter number 8 and verse number 22. Genesis 8 and verse number 22. Genesis 8 and verse number 22. The Bible says, As long as the earth endures, seed time, seed time and harvest. Cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. Can you see that? Let me just repeat it again. The Bible says, see time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. So kuna season ine zimetajwa mahali pale. 
kuna wakati wa, wa seed kuna wakati wa harvest kuna seed time kuna wakati wa harvest kuna wakati wa cold kuna wakati wa heat kuna wakati wa summer kuna wakati wa winter kuna wakati wa day na wakati kama saa hii huku kumeingia usiku kuna watu ambao call already ni mtana ni tofauti it is like that even in the spiritual life there are seasons They are seasons. Now once you fail to understand those seasons, you may miss it. Unaweza kuta kwa mbiko kwenye season ya seed time. Na kuna mtu ambaye kwenye season ya harvest na na harvest. Maybe amekuwa kipanda in the word of God, amekuwa kipanda in righteousness na na harvest. But maybe airy sasa ndio wakati na panda begu. Mm, mm, tutaangalia haya mambo. Kuna mwingine maybe an experience heat kwa kia kumetomeka sana unakuta kwamba kuna that thing what are you supposed to do kuna mengine mbili ni baridi mpaka kuna baridi mpaka ya kiroho wakati kuna baridi unafaa kufanya namna gani maneke kuna season kama hiyo ya baridi kuna season ya heat kuna season ya seed kuna season ya harvest kuna season ya summer kuna season ya winter kama sasa hivi kuna watu ambao kwenye winter season kuna season imetajwa hapa they are day na season nyingine ya usiku usiku utakuwa uko kwenye night season kwa kwa ni giza unaangalia mambo yako unaonekana kwamba ni giza how joy unaonekana kwamba maono yako hayatatimia ni giza tu what are you supposed to do wakati umejikuta kwa giza kuna mtu ambaye anasalebrate mtana kwake yani kumepamba zuka giza imeondoka kumepamba zuka kwake asubuhi kwake kuna mtu ambaye anasalebrate hivyo kuna mtu ambaye right now tunaongea kwake kumewaka <laughs> what are you supposed to do wakati umepitia season kama hizi and it is very important so Ukiangalia okay, basi namba 22 unasema kwamba season ya kwanza imetajwa pale ni season ya seed time. Kuna seed time. Before ukuje kwa harvest, una harvest kile ambacho umepanda. Hauwezi harvest kitu ambacho haujapanda. Mm. It is this is very important. This one is very important. Kile ambacho umepanda ndicho huo unavuna. So na kwa Bible kuna seed aina kadhaa takaulisikiza hapa kuna seed aina kadhaa problem ambayo tunakuwa nayo takaogadi ndoko between seed and harvest there is time hapa katikati kuna time ya seed na kuna time ya harvest watu wengi sana hawapendi wakati watu wanapanda wanapenda wakati watu wanavuna bali kuna time ya kupanda na kuna time ya kuvuna na sista kile ambacho haujapanda hauwezi kuvuna let me just tell you the truth kile ambacho haujapanda huwezi vuna mnake it is good to understand kile ambacho umepanda ndicho unavuna kuna seeds aina kadhaa ni seed gani unafaa kupanda number one, the bible says the word of god ni seed you are supposed to sow the word to people kuna time ya kupea watu neno la mungu mnake neno la mungu ni begu neno la mungu is a seed Christ ni seed tunafaa ku speak to people unafaa ku release these gospel people you are supposed to preach them wakati unahubiria you are sowing seeds wanaweza kuwa hawajaokoka maybe your brothers wana ku ignore but you are sowing that seed maybe mtoto wako hata hakusikizi but once unaopea neno kile ambacho unafanya you are sowing that seed na inaweza kawia but it grow kuna time uta harvest kuna time atakuja kuamini kile ambacho ulikuwa unamwambia na ni vyema sana kwa understand kuna watu ambao wanakufa moyo usoi kufa moyo kwa ajili ya bwanako continue sowing the seed continue preaching the gospel to your husband hata ikiwa ni mlevi continue preaching the good news aiko mtoto wako anavuta bangi aiko mtoto wako ni mbaya continue sowing the seed maana kuna time ya kuso na kuna time ya kuharvest kuna time my brother my sister you will harvest oh your brother atakuja kwambia kwamba ameokoka your mother atakwambia kwamba ameokoka why maana kuna begu ulipanda some years back na usiogope kupanda begu lazima utavuna kuna watu ambao wao wanakufa moyo unasema kwamba pastor nimemwombea let me tell you it is good kumwombea na ni vyema sana kupanda begu mwambie the one you are sowing that seed anaweza kuwa hata hajibu anaweza kuwa hata nakudharau but hiyo ni begu itakuwa ikianza kumea ndani yake siku moja atakwambia kwamba nilisikia mahubiri na sasa nimeokoka utakuta kwamba ameacha mpaka hiyo pombe unakuta kwamba amebadilika amesema misha mpaka doa usiwai choka kupanda begu remember in Matthew chapter number 13 bible inatuonyesha kwamba ndio za soa ambaye alienda kupanda begu zingine zikaanguka kando ya barabara zingine mahali kuna mawe zingine zinaguka mahali kuna mimba zingine to the good soil 
Very important. <clears throat> so anytime you are preaching the word, you are sowing the seed. So seed ya kwanza tunafakwa, tunapana, it is a word. Na siku moja, oh my God, lazima uta harvest. Lazima uta harvest. Don't forget. Like on skize, kwa Bible kuna vitu bini mungu nasema kwa mungu anabaliki. Listen to this. Anasema kwa anabaliki kazi ya mikono yetu. Can you hear this now? Anabaliki kazi ya mikono yetu. So if una kazi, mungu anabaliki hiyo kazi. Tunayelawana hapa, anabaliki kazi ya mikono yetu. That's number one. Then number two, anabaliki our seeds. Begu zetu huwa nabariki. Oh my God. Ooh, I know you maybe how this kia. But let me show you. Let me show you something. Uh, Kerate, are we together? Tunayarawana hapa. Ah, angani ni mbuko fuhaga. Nalaga ni pia watu. Ni kipea watu changamoto hapa. Angalia Hagai chapter number 2 verse number 18 and 19. Nimesema vitu mbini mungu wana bariki. Number 1 kazi ya mikono yetu. Number 2 seeds zetu. Begu zetu mungu wana bariki. Begu zetu wana bariki. Aga uriskize hapa. Na kuja hapa. Naka kwenye ni kwenyesha komba. Seed ya kwenza tunafaa kupanda kwa watu yetu. It is to preach to them. Wakati na wahubiria. Wakati na wahubiria watoto wako. Wakati na wahubiria your brother. Wakati na wahubiria your sister. You are sowing now that seed to them. Na ineza take months, ineza take years, but ulipanda, lazima itakuwa one day. Ambia watoto wako about Jesus. Wailezi about Jesus. Maybe wana kuignore, but hiyo begu mepanda, kuna time ya kuhabes, itakuwa dani yao. Tell them about Jesus, tell them about the love of God, tell them about the cross, tell them about the resurrection. One day hiyo begu, Lazima itakuwa. Maneke you are sowing seed now. Usoi choka. This is to this now. Haggai chapter number 2 verse number 18. Can somebody just. Jadi do the way together now. Inaugea juu ya. Mungu na bari kazi ya mikona yetu. Na mungu na bari our seeds now. Begu zetu. Na begu zetu ni zaina mingi sana. Ni mingi sana na zeleze hapa. Thank you from this day on. From this 24th day of the 9th month. Give careful thought that. Thank you Mary. When the foundation. Verse number 20 now. Angali verse number 20. Very interesting. Watu wa Facebook. Baro tuji wana watu wa Facebook. Watu tu fostia hapa. We are waiting for them. Masa wa idaka. Najio kwa mba watu tuwekea kama kwa YouTube. At least we got together. At least we got together. Oh my God, Lubu Shika Labakoza. I like this. Mirumunga, you listen to this. Angali verse 20, Nesamaji. Is there yet any seed left in the barn? Until now, the vine and the fig tree, the pomegranate and the olive tree have not borne fruit. Angali, Mungu, you listen to this. Angali, you listen to this. Then, Angali, from this day on, I will bless you. So, you listen to this. Angali, you listen to this. Angali, you listen to this. God was blessed. And all this, muna seed mambakisha. Yes, najua kuma hakuna kitu wa shamba. But that seed you are carrying, I'm going to bless that seed. Let me say, kwa tobo, nana kubo kuna seed. Mebu kuna 5K is a kwanza business. Don't eat your seed. Start that business with that seed. We don't eat seeds, we plant seeds. Begu hatukuri tunapanda. Maybe you're having 10K. Start business with that 10K. God anabalik that seed. God was asking them Muna seed mebakisha Nina mbalik sasa Go with that seed And then you could partner that seed Usoi darao That gift may be a seed You say it You start one That gift you konayo So the word of God to people So righteousness So forgiveness to them Wasamehe the more you show forgiveness in a way, when you talk to people, when you talk to them, the more you show mercy, you talk to people one day, when you talk to them, when you share the same same way, manake you are showing that. Let me ask you, ni 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 who na panda? Babu na sima kwamba mungu hadi hakiwi kile ya bacho who na panda lazima tafuna. If na panda kurga na takatifu tafuna. If na panda kurga na mauvu tafuna. Kile ya bacho na panda kwa watu lazima tafuna. Oh God, if sister usai simama na mtu wakati ya kotini, na wewe utavuna, lazima siku moja watu watasimama na wewe. Ibrahim jasimaji, 
Mm, my friend here, you need to know one now. We can't just say DM to buy her jewels. He's a seed you are sowing. One day, uta harvest. Uta kutoka mko na wakati na hitaji watu asima manawewe. Wata asima manawewe. Wakati na nda kuangali mto buy her jewels. Wakati na nda kuangali mto buy ata ni mugojo. It is a seed you are sowing. You harvest as long as the earth remains. Mungu ni sema kama kuna season ya kupanda na kuna season ya kuvuna kile ambacho unapanda lazima utavuna. That's it. Wakati unashikilia mtu wakati wako chini, wakati unaombea mtu na wewe siku moja Mungu atainua what out of nowhere they will pray for you. They will pray for you. Uh, tutakayo together wakati unashurikia watoto wa wenyewe Mungu atakisha kwamba utavuna watoto wako watashikiliwa Ah oh, I like silver na poa walikuwa nasaidia watoto wa na Israeli nisikize wakati kumetangazwa kwamba watoto uliwe wa hawakuwa na uwa watoto wakiona watoto wanakuja na ni vijana hawakuwa na waua walikuwa na waficha walikuwa na <laughs> wakiruza nasema kwamba wanawake wakihibiania si kama wa wa, wa Misri wao ni waelevu sana na soma next verse hapo inasema ati God bless them na nyumba zao hawakuwa na nyumba but waliangalia watoto wa wenyewe Mungu akabariki na nyumba. Ndio unakomba unaweza kuwa faithful hata na biashara ya wenyewe. Mungu akuinua na biashara yako. Unaweza kuwa faithful na kampuni ya wenyewe. Mungu akishia kwamba amekubariki na kampuni yako, maana kile ambacho unapanda lazima utavuna. Sasa unaambia mwa watu hapa usiendee mtu kwa uchawi maana utavuna hiyo. Utavuna hiyo ukiendea watu kwa uchawi utavuna. Mbe unasema kwamba ukitiba shimo, unajitimbia wewe mwenyewe utanguka hapo. Kile ambacho unapanda utavuna. Maana kuna time ya kupanda na time ya kuvuna. When you preach the gospel, lazima uta harvest. When you support the work of God, lazima uta harvest. Ah, uh, listen, listen to this. This is good. This is good. Angalia mweza kumulize ni begu gani unapanda sasa. Ni ya kusamehea na uki, uki panda fitina. Utavuna. Uta, uki panda vita. Utavuna. Uki panda chuki di utavuna. Uki panda upendo. Utavuna upendo. Awezi vuna kitu wabacha uja panda. Awezi kuwa kwa shama yako uja panda maharagwe. Luneda kutafuta maharagwe kwa shama yako. How now? How kupanda maharagwe? If we panda mahidi utavuna mahidi. Case closed. If ukua MP ulikuwa na ingilia watu ukiwa na wewe If wakati ukua MP ulikuwa na ingilia ma MP Wakati ukua MP utainukiwa Sarah If ulikuwa na inukia your manager Wakati ukua manager utainukiwa I tell you If ukua na inukia praiser So nabiyo kubo na wadharao Wakati ukua praiser na utainukiwa Nisikize If una inukia You are pastor Wakati wakua pastor utavuna You are born again to the heaven But kile ambacho Mungu hathi haki We don't need it for you Ngini mweza kumabia Watch out kile ambacho unapanda Manaka utavuna Daso uchukia watu Wapangia mumabaya Chukua wakora Uwatumie Ili wapawwe mari yao But one day one day, thank you, thank you, Kabra, God bless you. Watch out to some air, you got it in six, seven. Manakini muhimu sana. Agani muhimu sana. Mambi hai, mambi ya panda mamba mazuri kwa sabu utavuna. Na sister usiwai choka kili ambati unafanya. One day, I tell you, it may take months, it may take years, but one day utavuna. Ukipanda ukolofi. God. Let me read for you that verse. Let me read for you that verse. Begu ni mingi sana watu wanapanda I know watu watu wana tuchukia mapasta Atu mapasta nyinyi Utefuna tu Utakuto kubada yoto chukua watu hapo Ingiria doa za watu Na we uki yako Ukiolewa Au kikaka Urokuto kubada yako inainukiwa Sera Aputa kwaja ni kunyo tumaji Angalia galati ya 6 Vasa number 7 Galatian 6, kuna time ya ku Panda, na time ya ku Can you see that? Kuna time ya ku Na time ya ku, thank you So good things Agriya now, let me tell you Let me read for you this one Hii sina haraka, hii lazima tukilewe Zuli sana Angalia video bobo nasema, look at this Verse number 7, inasema aji Hahaha 
Yes, I don't. Uh, by the way, him, usue yo, mamu ambi kama hiyo, ato nasema kwa baliata. Back to the sender. That's not prayers or what to move, they are born again. Watch out now. Don't pray back to sender, the back to sender. No. We don't pray such prayers. <laughs> Especially since what on your covenant, that's not prayer yet to. Uh, at the day, eh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Kili empacho na panda, atavuna. Mwacha tu, atavuna. Uh, mungu nasema kwamba usi 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 dipishie usi dipishie wewe mwenyewe ukifanya kitu mbaya wewe mfanye kitu kizuri hmm, speak the word of god so good is ah angalia wacha kwanza nikusome hii do not be deceived god cannot be mocked can you see now a man reaps what he sows can you hear that kile ambacho mtu anapanda anavuna mark this let me read verse number 8. The one who sows to please his sin of nature. When a boy na panda mamba kufurishe miliao. Nisikize. But when a smoke up from that, that nature will reap destruction. Can you see? If watu na panda mamba kufurishe miliao. Kufurishe tamazao. But when a smoke up watavuna nini? Destruction. Uhalibivu. Simple. If una panda mamba kufurishe mwili. Wewe endele yaku ya panda. But by when a smoke up. Lazimu tavuna. <laughs> angali, angali next verse na sema aji. The one who sows to priest the spirit. Mtuwabaya na panda. Afraishe roho mtakatifu. Oh, ukipanda mamba boni ya roho. Angali ya bobo na sema na gani. From the spirit who live eternal life. Woo. Angeli vile mbona nasema let us verse number 9 I like it. Inasema je let us not be weary in doing good. Usoi choka kufanya kitu mzuri for at the proper time at the proper time we will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Can you see that? But nasema kwa ukizidi kufanya kupanda mambo mazuri Usichoke maneka kuna time yake. Kuna time ya harvest. Na mini mekujo kumbia watu wa Facebook na watu wa YouTube. Kuna time ya harvest. Awezi, awezi so time yako kwa mungu. Unakujo kusikiza the word. Na ugenda kusikiza mbitu vigine. You are sowing your time in the kingdom. Let me tell you. You harvest. Kuna proper time. Kuna time ya harvest. Awezi, awezi so your money hapa, your bad doors unanunua ukuju skiza word of God. It is not in vain. What you are sowing, let me tell you. Kuna time ya harvest. Kuna seed time and harvest. Kuna time ya seed. Wakati unapanda ineza kangumu. But wakati unavuna, watu watawano unavuna. Hawata understand vino ulipanda, but wataona harvest. I know kuna watawana nisikiza hapa. Very soon, you are receiving your harvest. You have been sowing in the kingdom. You have also supporting the work of God. Ume kukitua pesa zako, supporting the way of sowing. But not only money, but also we sow the word. Not only the word, we sow good things. We sow forgiveness. We sow compassion. <laughs> Look at this. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, not some. To all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. Tunelewana kafura jogona, minu mekuja kupea watu nguvo bona nisikiza. Yakoma kile ambacho mekuwa kipanda la zima utavuna. Oh my God, sometimes una kutoko mtu wa mekukosea, mtu wa mekusema mambaye ufila ki you're going to sow a tuki, unafika na kombo uta mtukia, ufila ki kakana kombo uta mtusi, but let me tell you, wewe usipande matusi, panda goodness, panda love, ha ha ha. So kuna seeds mingi, you can sow the word of God, you can sow forgiveness, you can sow even, I know to anawiza pastor, I know kuna hii time to anawiza pastor, can you also give money kama seed, itakuja hapo, itakuja hapo mwanyesha, is it biblical or not? Angalia Psalms 126, 126, don't miss it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, this is good. 
verse number 5, Psalms 126, verse number 5, Psalms 126, verse number 5. Endelea kupanda, gali mweza kumobia, endelea kupanda, mamba mazuri, utavuna. Wachana wale buwana panda mwambaya, Ruben wachana na wao. <laughs> wata nao ni season ya kupanda ikifika ya kuvuna watavuna hata ikienda miaka mingapi itavuna the boy says those who sow with the tears who reap with the songs of joy as it i know sai unalia i know bwana amekuacha i know kwamba umetoka you feel like nita revenge utatoka nje kama yeye but don't sow that seed i know kuna tomo umekuandikia text mbaya you feel like you're going to reply ikiwa mbaya don't sow that seed don't sow that seed. Mambia, God bless you. God bless you. Mambia, I forgive you. Stephen wakati likuwa na pigwa kwa mawe. Instead ya kuwa tusi. Na kuwa rani. Ala mambia komba, baba, aya, makosa. Usua hesabia makosa yao. Forgive them. I commit my spirit to the to thy heart. Hakuwa na wachukia. So good seeds. Hawa wisha kumba hata viongozi wetu watapanda begu nzuri. The reason why watu wanapigana. Si kwa sababu watu wanambaya. Watu si wambaya. Tunakana wakarijin hapa. Tunakana wakamba hapa. Tunakana wajaruna wabaruya hapa. Sisi ya tunatuki. But ni sisi tunapando na viongozi. Tho sisi tunapando unafika time. Iyo seed inaanza kugro dani. Alafu harvest kuna kuwa ni vita. Mada kikuna hile seed watu wanapanda. But I tell you, hata viongozi yobo na panda begu ya vita, siku moja, hata wa wata harvest. Wale yobo na panda mpaka begu ya vitu mbaya. Mungu hadi hakiwi. Can you see that Psalms 126? Angalia abas number 5 again. Angalia verse number 5 again. Bible nasema kwa bole wabona pana kilio. Kusabu when you are sowing. Sometimes it's not. It is not easy. Anagura kwa bakuna mtu wabaya mekutusi. Yufika na kwa hauta msamehea. Sikia kwa ule umkumu. Mtu mekuambia ama kue kele ya mababa haujafanya. Usai mwaga damu ya, ya, usai, usai, usai panda begu ya kumwaga damu. Manakio, iyo ni begu tu, na utavuna, utakuta kumba, ikitu, utaharvest, mungu hati hakiwi. Kiru na panda unavuna. Angalivi na mungu na sema, read it again, that verse, read it again, that verse, 126. 126, verse number 5, look at this. Dana wa ushiba bo sams. Wana luiso metena. What are YouTube, Facebook? Toke that verse again. Toke that verse again. Toke that verse again. Verse number five. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. I know kuna watu mboa na liya right now. But you are sowing in tears. But it's mokomo uta vuna kwa furaha. Kuna time ya kuvuna kwa furaha my sister. Umevumilia, kuna time ya kufuna kwa furaha. Umepanda kwa kilio. Utavuna kwa. Tazai. Usi kutokomba, even you don't have money. Unataka kusupport shoso frani. Unataka kusupport mpaka watoto yatima. Manake. Ah. Angalia verse number six is a key now. He that goes forth and weeping, bearing precious seed. Angalia. Angalia, inasema aje, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing the sheaves with him. Can you see that? So, ya remaneno na ongea, ni sitsu na achiria. You can sow word of God. You can sow forgiveness. You can sow mercy to people. You can sow love to people. You can sow peace to people. Una speak peace to them. Ni begu na panda. Mwane sama kubo kuna time ya seed. Genesis 8 verse number 22. Kuna time ya seed time and harvest. Kuna time ya kupanda begu. Na time ya kufuna. Let me tell you something. That's when our days unu kutoko mba hey. Watu wanaongea kinyuma wa watu walengine. Even kuna watu mwani nukia man of God. Let me tell you something. Even 
ndo tobona inukia ndo waza watu wewe unaotoa unasema hey, nini 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 watch out watch out that seed you are sowing that seed unaje kuna time utakuwa kiongozi ukinukia huyo kiongozi kuna time utakuwa kiongozi maybe si kiongozi wa taifa maybe si MCA bado ni kiongozi kwa kampuni unasikia kwamba watu wa kampuni na kuinukia na ni seed nilipanda 5 years ago ni kama watu ambao nisikize na unielewe hapa ni kama watu ambao wana divide churches unakuta kwamba wewe ni wa church flani unakuta kwamba ume divide umeenda kuweka yako hapo na hauna baraka ya your spiritual father don't go to that church let me tell you maneke hiyo church lazima ita divide maneke hiyo seed lazima utaivuna Unakuta ukigawanya church uenda hapo ukinukia umepata knowledge au knowledge kama you are mtu ambaye amekuria kiroho with the word of god say you may understanding your father spiritual father hana that understanding unaanza kuweka yako na hapo just because umeona vision moja <laughs> sera <laughs> unaenda hapo i have seen churches watu ambao wamegawanya kanisa na zao zinagawanywa hata five times zinagawanyika kwa sababu ametoka pale hatu kuna let me let me advise you if unatoka church toka pale tu na baraka enda tu ile kubariki mzazi wako ni mzazi anakuwa hakusoma wewe umesoma anakuwa na phd you are professor na mzazi wako alifika ile class 7 ya zamani bado ni mzazi wako hauwezi muignore kuna baraka amebeba haijabebwa na anybody else simple and clear but wakati una sow that seed usidharau mpaka mzazi wako the seed you sow ukidharau mzazi wakati utaolewa watoto wako watakudharau maneka ni seed ulipanda kwa mzazi wako na ivuna there are so many bad people today that is on why they are struggling life is because wamedharau wazazi wao au watembelei wazazi wao na wao sasa hii wameolewa watoto wao na wadharau they don't call them they don't answer their calls ni begu alipanda wanaivuna kuna watu wao sasa hii wameanza let me let me ask let me tell you something i mean tell, kuna principles zingine you cannot do for your right remember kuna parable jesus christ alipeana mtu ambaye alisamehewa pesa zake Dembi yake ikakansuriwa ilikuwa kubwa. Bana kakutana na kamtu kingine tu mtu mwingine alikuwa tu na deni yake kidogo. Yeye hey, hakumsamehea. Na hakumuondolea ile deni. Instead alimnyonga na akamweka kwa prison. Wakati mkubwa wake alisikia. Alimuuliza, "Mimi nimekuhurumia. Bona wewe haukuhurumia yule mwingine. Imagine mara ngapi Mungu amekusamehea huu unakosea?" Mungu amekusamehea kupitia kwa msalaba. Na Bibi anasema kwamba tunasameheana kwa maana tu umesamehewa na rawana na hizo ndio wetu nasamehea watu kwa sababu tu umesamehewa na Mungu imagine the grace of god that is upon your life you are supposed to share that grace let me tell you i know of a mtu ambaye anajua alituuzia mahali sita kusema ni wapi babu yake alikuwa amekata babake mguu na yeye babu yake akakatwa na babake mguu. Na yeye akakata babake mguu. Na yeye akafa akakatwa mguu. That was a chain. Hiyo begu alipanda. Ukidharau mzazi wako, ni begu unapanda. Na wao watoto wako watakudharau, they ignore you. Anakuwa na kuangalia hivyo, wanakuachanisha hapo. Ukienda ukilewa unatusi mzazi wako. Iyo begu taifuno watoto wako watalewa watakutusi mala 20 is <laughs> a seed you are sowing mungu hadhihakiwi inukie hiyo boss unamtusi na siku moja tukuo boss unarani hiyo pastor that otter umekaa pale kwa church for 10 years huko unajua kitu ume understand the word of god sai una revelation kali sana kushinda hiyo pastor sai unamtukana all over kwa kwa WhatsApp kwa Facebook the seed you sowing it may take time but one day lazima utaivuna 
Mungu hadhi hakiwi. I like I like mtu mmoja kwa Bible anaenda kuonyesha. Angalia huyu mtu kwa Bible ananitenga sana he was an old man. He was an old man. He was an old man. Let me show you something. Look at this. Wale kuonyesha kitu ambacho utaenjoy hapa kwa Bible. Angalia second Samuel. Let me show you second Samuel. Don't miss this one now. Manake in in come sana manake uki understand. Kuna mambo kwa hauta sura kuna angalia nao. Ukiangalia hapa. Oh God help me. Ukiangalia second Samuel. Second Samuel. I kuna mambo mengine hata ukiibua na pasta. <coughs> Unless wewe mwenye ujua kwamba hapa nimekosea. I kuna seed. Kuna mambo mengine unafaa kwenda kuomba msamaha. Can you hear what I'm saying? Remember David wakati kulikuwa na jea 3 years. Na David was a man after God's heart by the way imagine. Na na kukawa na jea 3 years kwa sababu Saul alikuwa amemwaga damu. Do you know kwamba wakati alienda kaomba Mungu Mungu alimwambia namna gani? Ni kwamba kuna watu walikosewa, aende akawaombe msamaha. Kuna wakati mwingine haufai fasting, unafaa kwenda kuomba msamaha kwa mzazi wako. Kuna wakati mwingine unafaa kwenda kuomba msamaha mahali uko na shida kwa sababu wewe mwenyewe ulitoka na vituko na visirani na na ukaongea mama mbaya ukaanza kuvuna ukipanda ya mwili unavuna ya mwili ukipanda ya roho unavuna ya roho if you sow the word you reap the benefits of the word let me show you something about this man angalia second samuel chapter number 15 a chapter number 17 ah bazirai there was a man called bazirai verse number 27 look at this verse number 27 verse number 27 Let me show something. Hey, hey, hey. Verse number 27. Look at this. Second Samuel. Second Samuel chapter number 17 and verse number 27. Angalia, the Bible says, When David come to Mahanaim, so be son of Nahash from Rab Raba of the Ammonites and Makir, son of Amiel from Rodeba and Bazarai do you want to talk about you? and Bazarai the Giriadite from Logalim Logalim, Angalim verse number 28 brought beddings ni wakandao David nisikize, Absalom alikuwa nataka kuchukua shukani David hakubishana na Absalom hakuita maskari wa mpige apana Yeye sasa kuna time ilifika na kunisikiza mahali ya manake ni muhimu sana. Babu nasema kwamba kuna watu ambao wali support David wakati alikuwa anapitia mambo kama hayo. Na watu ambao walikuwa wanamsupport ni watu ambao very interesting. Angalia mtu wa kwanza hapa anaitwa Shobi. Shobi ni mtoto wa Nahash. Nahash means nyoka. Don't forget that. Now who was this Nahash? If you study your Bible correctly, utakuja kuelewa ukisoma Bible kirudi tu kidogo kwa second Samuel chapter number 10. There was hapo kwa Bible mtu ambaye anaitwa Hanun. <laughs> na Hasho wakati alikufa, Hanun David wakati alio Hanun aliingia kwenye ufalme na Hasho babake amekufa. Hanun wakati alikalia kit nao. Baba Bible inasema kwamba David akatumana na akawa comforted. But instead of that alisikiza wazee, wakaanza kuinukia David na kupiga watu ambao walikuwa wametumwa na David. But now I thank God for Sobi. Aliona kwamba sitafanya kama Hanun, my brother vile alifanya. Alinukia David na kurarulia watu ambao walituma nguo mm, zao na huku nyuma huku kwa nini huku kwa nini alafu devu zao akazikata but so be brother yake alichokupa sitafanya kama my brother i'm so good si aliyena ka support David wakati amainukiwa na Absalom aliyena ka support angalia wakiwa na nani huyu mwingine ni nani makia son of Amiel makia remember ni mahali sasa nani mefibo said alikuwa amefichwa kwa makia sana wa mieli mahali uh, mefipo sendi kwa mefito na ya kaja kusapo nani akaji kwa huyo beli alisaidia mefipo sendi let me just support ye ye na kili ya bati nikona hato wakati ya kona shida waka david hana toloka waka david hana kitu waka david hana mahali waka david hana mahali pakulara sobi na makil then bazaria Bazaria hii, bazaria hii na ye mwenyewe wakada wakam support, wakasupport David. Na nini angalia? Walimpelekea bedding. Ngalia boss. 
Articles of pottery, angalia. They also brought wheat, barley, fra, roasted grain, beans, honey. Can you see sheep? Ming sana. For David and his people to eat. For they said, the people have been hungry and tired and dusty in the desert. They supported David. What was that? They supported David. They were sowing that seed. Let me surprise you now. Let me surprise you. Angalia now. Chapter number 19. Chapter number 19. <clears throat> Chapter number 19. What happened? Chapter 19. Angalia verse number 30. Let me read for you verse number 30. Mm -hmm. Chapter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chapter 19. Chapter number 19. Second Samuel chapter number 19. Yes, yes, yes. This verse. Verse number. Let's go verse number, verse number, yeah, yeah. Verse number that one, verse number that one, verse number that one. Verse number that, look at this, don't read this one, no. But I'm going to show you something. Bazarai, the Gileadite, came down from, Angalia, Ananda Wapi, Jordan, Kukutana Nani, David. Mark this, Angalia, because of time, but manake kuna mamu natawa kuambia, hindi kuna natawa kupiti. Angalia, verse number that two, now Bazaria was very aged. And kuwa mze, man, even, Miaka ngapi 84 years. Mze wa 84 years. Alikuwa na support David na mahali pakurara. Alikuwa na mpea bondoro za kularia. Ana mpea maharagwe. <laughs> and I'm support. Sin that kwa na so. I'm going to go there show what happened later. Look at this. And he had provided the king of substance. While he was laying at Mahanaim. For he was very great man. Alikuwa na mari yake. Alikuwa tajina. Alikuwa mze. Aka support David na maka mahali. Hakuwa na mahali pakuraria. Watu ngapi tutu wa saisa potu watu mboho hawana mahali pa kulalia. Unajuku kuna godoro tano, unapelekea mtu godoro moja na lalia. Wifi rivo rifanya, unakutuku mbo na chakura, wakasaidia David na chakura. Kwa sababu, wali unakupa David hana kitu, they support David na chakura. Wali msupport mpaka na unga, wali msupport na vitu mpaka hana ya sari, wali mpelekea. Then waka David alianza kurudi sasa, wali unasema kwa wakenda waka kutana. Then what happened? Mark verse number 33. The king said unto Bazaria, Come over with me. I will feed thee with me, Jerusalem. Then we will be able to say, Dear Sana, Kuja, Kuja now. Nataka ni kulisha sasa. Maneku ni support. Wakati siku na kitu sahia na vuna. Sahini, sahini na rudi kwa ufanme. Close over with me. Tuwende Jerusalem na mewe. Chochotu na hitaji. I will provide for you. You eat now. But I come on biaji. I like this man. Hako na saidiana ili ya saidiwe. Look at this. Anasamaji. Bazere said unto the king, How long have I to live? And I should go up with the king unto Jerusalem. Um, Angalia, I am this day 84 years or four score years old. And can I discern between good and evil? <laughs> I like this guy. I have a gomba. Ati hawezi discern. Ati hawezi wa kitu kizuri na kibaya. Hii pati kida di nanijenga. Ati hawezi wa kitu kizuri na kibaya. Si wezi wa kitu kizuri na kibaya. Can I servant taste what I eat or what I drink? Ati hawezi taste kitu. Hawezi feed that taste. Kitu wa kikula. Hii pati kida di nanistua. Or <laughs> can I hear anymore the voice of singing men? Or singing women? Si wezi kia sauti ya wanaumu wa kiimba. All. Siwezi sikia sauti ya wanawake wa kiimba. Hame nime kusaidia, but I know sita enda na wewe. But kuna part nataka. Kuna part nataka. Mark this. Karaba kushi kata mazanta laba. Angalia jump to the verse. Angalia verse number 39. Angalia verse number 39. Mark this verse. Verse number 39. So all the people crossed the Jordan. And then the king crossed over. The king kissed. Bazrai and gave him his blessing. And Bazaria returned to his home. Can you hear that statement? The king blessed this man. The man was old. The man was great man. This man was great man. But he needed the blessing from the king. He was blessed. Why? The seed of your panda. Simple and clear. So, kitu ya kwezo nafaa kwa understand, uneza panda neno kama seed. Then number two. Then number two. <coughs> you can give your money as a seed. 
Anglia now. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Don't miss this one. Second Corinthians. Chapter number nine. Mm, Angalia. Second Corinthians chapter number nine. Mark this. Let me start from verse number one. Second Corinthians chapter number nine. Verse number one. Let me start from verse number one. The Bible says, There is no need for me to write to you about this service to the saints. The poor and the same. For I know your uneasiness, eagerness to help, and I have been boasting about it to Macedonian church. Paul anaambia wa Korintho sina haja kumwandikia haya maana yake nimekuwa nikilinga na nyinyi nikiambia Macedonian church vile mkoridi <laughs> anaambia mna gani telling them that since last year you were in Akai we are ready to give and your enthusiasm has stirred most of them to action sima kwamba niliambia watu wa Kedonia ati kwanza kuanzia last year mlikuwa ready to give <laughs> so nilikuwa na wahutubia na wapea testimony yenu ya kwamba vile mko ready to give ndivyo anawaambia kuanzia last year so na kuna watu mbao after kusikiza that testimony na wao wamepata that grace of giving manake giving is a grace na pata that grace look at this now for if any macedonians come with me and find you oh my god let me read verse number 3 but i'm sending i'm sending the brothers in order that our boasting about you in this matter should not be should not <laughs> proper sasa hii nao god money mzee sana hivi Isijali ni Bible imesoma mpaka imezeeka mpaka hapo. Kisa mapalo unakuta kwamba imezeeka kabisa hapo. So <laughs> Anasema kwamba nisitume brothers mahali pale. Thank you. Nisitume brother proof hao but you may be ready as I said it would be. So anasema kwamba nataka sasa kwa sababu nimeongea mambo yenu sana. Nikinatuma brother pale. Ili sasa kumsukue mahamu ya prepare ni aibike na nisema vile mnamkorede ku support. Angalia next verse. For if any Macedonian come with me and find you unprepared, we not not to say anything about you would be ashamed of having been so confident. Tutaibika if tutakuja pale na hamu ya jiada. Mlikuwa ready to support the work of God. If tukuje mahali pale, Mungu ndio kwamba ndio mnaokota pesa. Tutaonekana kwamba mimi niliongea uongo. Ndivyo Paul anaambia. Angalia next verse vile nasema. So I thought it is necessary to add the brothers to visit you in advance so natuma brothers wakuje ili sasa mtoe pesa ili tukija mzee yuko na visit kwa church anakuja kuhubiri alafu time president amekuja ndio mnaitiza pesa sababu na sababu sitaki kuibika natuma brothers mujia die before tufike if mnaokota pesa mu mmeokota tukifika mu mmekuwa na pesa msiokota tukua hapo hapana nitaibika na vile nimeliga na nyinyi angalia vile anaambia angalia next verse inasemaje mm -hmm. So I thought it is necessary to urge the brothers <coughs> to visit you in advance and finish the arrangement for the generosity gift you have you had promised. Kwa sababu mwe promise kwamba mkuna gift mtatoa. Kuna pesa mtatoa. Mu mu metoa before to fike. Mark that again next verse. Then it will be ready as a as a generous gift not as a one. Can you can you hear what the Bible says? Munajitolea nyie wenyewe si kufosiwa. Si kufosiwa. This is good. And there now verse number 6. And there verse number 6. And there verse number 6. Don't miss verse number 6. Mark this. Inasemaje? Remember this. Remember this. Whoever sows sparingly, whoever sows sparingly, we also reap sparingly. Can you hear that? And whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Remember the topic was ni kanisa la Korintho. Walikuwa wamesema kwamba wata support Paul. Paul anasema kwamba tutakuja na Macedonia pale na hatutaki toy because sababu nimeongea jioni ni vile mnajitolea kutoa pesa. So nataka ni tume brothers mtoe before nifike nikifika mu umetoa. Paul anachukua naenda nazo. Hivi ndivyo Paul anasema. <laughs> Bana, hataki kuibika na nawakumbusha naombe kwamba hiyo giving yenu is a way of sowing so number one, we sow words we sow forgiveness we sow those gifts but still we can also sow through giving 
izia wanaambiwa anadhukubushwa kwamba hiyo mnatoa mjoko kwamba alikwenza hii <laughs> hii don't joke with Paul don't joke with anakubusha anaambia kwamba batisti hata mkitoa nimetuma brothers but hata mkitoa kuna ligana vile mnatoa anaambia <laughs> kwamba akili anaambia kwamba whoever saw us sparring it we were so rip sparring it anaambia kwamba whoever saw us generous ambe mjitolee tu msifasiwe kutoa a a msifasiwe maana the problem we are giving nowadays people are not giving generously no 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 bwana fosiwa wanaambia kwamba usipotoa utaraniwa kuna sister leo alinipigia ani story kanambia kwamba pasta na kutumia audio ya pasta ambaye tulikuwa tumeongea na yeye akanitumia audio ya pasta wameongea na yeye pasta alimwambia kwamba ili sasa ni kuombe lazima utume pesa ambazo zinakaa ile namba ya covenant usinitumie pesa ambazo zinakaa namba 666 pesa ina namba 6 usitume lazima utume pesa zikiwa na namba 7 namba 777 pesa ikuwe na namba 777 are we together if ni 777 If ni 7000 7000 iko na 77 usitume kitu pesa iko na 6 hiyo ni ya shetani na kuna ile pesa lazima utoe ili utendewe muujiza <laughs> na akabu usipotoa umelandiwa akambi kwamba mimi nimelandwa watu wengi sana wamekufa hata sasa wewe kwanza katisua kati vibaya sana niko na dosa record ingele nitumia pasa anamwambia kwamba hata wewe utakufa lazima utoe hizo pesa maliza madhabahu usipomaliza madhabahu you're going to die Ili, oh my god hakuna <laughs> kitu ga hiyo hakuna kitu ga hiyo hakuna pesa unaweza toa to buy a miracle hakuna pesa inaweza buy muujiza let me tell you if muujiza na nunua na pesa then we don't Jesus we don't need Jesus what we need is money to buy miracles we don't buy miracles with money ai sasa sisi alikuwa anakana uoga alipasa alimwambia kwamba anaweza anaweza kufa nikamwambia sister hiyo ni uongo hakuna kukufa naweza kufa hakuna mahali pa kunatuambia hivyo hiyo ni kustuliwa unastuliwa you cannot die sister nikamtia nguvu kama pick up usijaribu kutuma pesa don't kwa hizo ukizituma unatuma kanda ya barabara zitakuliwa na ndega wa anga sera <laughs> eh na kuna watu wapo wanasikiza hapa wamestuliwa hivyo wanastuliwa sasa hivi wako na uoga Mwalimu kubwa tume pesa 777777 Tiba matende muujiza. Huto ndio tunalipia miujiza. Show me one verse. Tunalipia miujiza wapi? We don't pay. Sister alikuwa na uoga sana. Azim ameambia kwamba hizo pesa sasa muujiza utatendeka. Alikuwa na uoga muujiza utatendeka sababu <laughs> Uh, thank you sister sasa kwa huku tunatoa huku tunatoa out of revelation we don't force people to give people are not the moon understand about jesus you give willingly in the you give willingly by the way hata unaweza toa pesa nika kushire hiyo na unaitisha hapo maana yake unatoa leo kuna sister alinijenga sana <laughs> thank you sister god bless you know bibi na nifuatilia hapa kanasema pastor <laughs> Umenibarik sana umenifundisha neno na hujanilipisha alinyambia hivyo Eh 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 Pastor umenifundisha na hujani nini Na pasta nimeamua kwamba nikununulie soda thank you maana akaninunulia soda si kumwambia ninunulie amekuwa kifuti I don't alisikiza anambia kwa hapa alinyambia kwamba pastor will be teaching me the word of God nime grow in a word nimejua kwamba kutoa willingly Paul anaambia kwamba nimeongea jioni vile mko na hiyo <laughs> mko na hiyo hamu ya kutolea ku support the work of God. Na kwa sababu stack ni aibike nikuja hapo nikuja kwamba mjatoa, anatuma brothers. Anaambia kwamba sasa natuma brothers wakuje ili mtoe before before nifike ili nisiibike. Na hapa kaambia kwamba it's good it's very important ile let me show you another verse. Angalia next verse. Mbe kwamba is a will of sowing. Is a will of sowing. Wakati unatoka ile unatoa is a will of sowing. Is a will of sowing. Ni mzi ni kwa kubwa. Angalia, let me show you something. Look at this. And next verse, verse number 7. Each 
Man should give what he had decided. Can you hear this? Anawambia kumba, iyo kutua is a way of sowing. But anawambia kumba, unafaa kutua kile mbati ume decide. Si kile mbati unafosiwa. You're not supposed to be forced. Ati lazimu utoe pesa frani mujizo teleke. Lazimu utoe pesa ambazo frani jisimamia anota. No! Pona anawambia kumba ngale, each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give. Ni kile mbati ume decide from your heart to give. Kile mbati ume decide to give in a kingdom. Iyo duwe nesema kumba, yes, you are supporting me. Munisema sinzi rasti ya mtatoa. Unu wakati wenu sasa toeni. Divya nawambia, ni meongea juu enu sana. Natumba brothers. Juwa kumba ni kupanda, munafaa kupanda na tiyo boy nafaa. Anawambia hivu, is a seed you are sowing. That giving is a seed that you are sowing. Nanawambia kumba, amfai kufosiwa. Kile uto nafaa kutuwa kile ambato anasikia kwa mwoyo wake kutuwa. Highly favored are we together. Andalia nawambia aje, each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give. Not... Can you hear this? Not add the compassion. For God loves a cheerful giver. Cheerful giver. Mungu apendagi watu mbono for siwa. Anapenda cheerful giver. Sarah. I like the version of the book of Felix. Not out of regret. おばあちゃんおなじくのもとばないざとあいありがたいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいい
So kuna time ya kupanda na time ya kuvuna. So chochote umepanda unavuna. Right. And I believe a time is coming and that time is now. Amos 9 must come to pass. Let me read for you Amos 9. But I can believe Amos 9 very soon. Very soon. Amos 9 lazima itatimia. Let me show you this. Oh God. <laughs> Amos 9 verse number 13. Amos 9 verse number 13. Look at this. Amos 9 verse number 13. The Bible says, The days are coming. The days are coming. The days are coming. When the reaper will be overtaken by the prow man. The planter by the one treading grapes. Ah! Can you hear this? Nasema kwa wakati unafika. Watu wabua na vuna. Wapito na watu wabua na andaa shamba. Yani wapande alafu zikue. Mbaka wafikie wale amawa pombele. Hehe! May that be a portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me ask you before we talk about Apple. Let me ask you. That Amos 9 verse number 13. Ni begu gani na panda? Gani na panda? Yes. New wine. It matters of moral boy. Unapanda furaha kwa watu. Unapanda upendo kwa watu. Continue sowing seeds to people. Gary Scarimon, are we together, Erin? Kerana Kiboy, are we together? Samuel, Simon, are we together? The seed that you're sowing is very important. But like, unatai mi ya kupanda na ya kufuna. But no, the problem ya kumba Simon, ukipanda, unataka ufuna next week. But kuna time, kuna time ya kupanda, time ya kufuna. It's not the same time. And like, wacha ni maliza na iva, sarafu ni yende, uh, season, hizo, zikini, ziko hapo chini. Wacha Ecclesiastics chapter number 11. Ecclesiastics chapter number 11. Ecclesiastics chapter number 11. Ecclesiastics chapter number 11. Yes, thank you, Jerry. Let's talk about seed of patience. Yes. Begu ya kufumiria. Ukipanda kufumiria. Utavuna. Ya kufumiria. Awezi. Wahibada chuki. Tafuna chuki. Ukienza kuinukia watu. Utafuna tu kuinukia. Nanuwa ya tulipanda. Kile mtu wanapanda. Ukipanda kwa mwiku fraisha mwili. Utavuna tu hiyo. Weji fraisha na. Fraisha tu mwili na kukunywa. Eh, hey, ukisema kwa ba. Hey, ni miyokora wana grace. Hakuna grace mahali mekwambia ukunywe pombe. No ya. Yeah. Grace teaches you to say no to ungodliness. Them that are born of God. Hawezi yendele kutenda dhambi. Sige sema kwa ba watendi dhambi. Nimesema kwa ba hawafungwe na dhambi. Hawa yendele kutenda dhambi. Hawafungwe na dhambi. They are born of God. They carry the seed of God. Hawezi kuwa wamefungwe na dhambi. The <clears throat> sin is no longer their master. <clears throat> mm. Look at this now. So don't eat your seed. That capital, don't eat it. Start something with it. We don't need the seeds. We sow seeds. Mm, unakunyo kama unajifita. How na unafuta sigaro kwa umejifita? No, what's the problem? Let God continue to change you. Come here, the word of God. Let God change you. Let God change you. <laughs> Look at this verse. 
Let me show something here. <clears throat> Manaka, this one is great. Verse number one. Verse number one. Let me verse number one. Yeah. Thank you, Felix. Kwanza, you take us again. For the grace of God has appeared that of us. Oh my God. Can you see that verse? What are you two? Can we have someone post before us? Thank you. Thank you. Can you see that? Verse 12. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self control, not going to self control. Can you see that? So, grace in it to say no. No. So cast your bread upon the waters. For after many days you fight it again. I know you have somehow ni gumu kidogo kuhi understand. But in those days, kulikuwa sasa vile sasa. Mkono vana hile biyashara ya kuextend. Tuko tunaitaje those days. So kuna those seats now. Waluko na zichukua. Waki zichukua. Wanapena kwa marikabu wanapena to the other side. Zina perekwa. Then if you want to get the key to the next stage, you to So if you want to get the key to you want to get That's the meaning of that verse. So if maybe you want to get the key to the next stage, you want to get the key to the next stage. And if you want to get the key to the next stage, you Thank you, thank you, butter tray. That, imagine. So if you want to get the to the other side, then you want That's all that we are doing. That's what I'm saying. Cast your bread upon the waters. For after many days you will fight it again. And then now, next verse. In Asema, give portion to seven, yes to eight. For you do not know what disaster may come to the land. Mark this. And Nataka Wangaria verse number three. If crowds are full of water, they pour in on the earth. Whether the tree falls to the south or to the north. In a place where it falls, there it will lie. But Nataka Ivas. Nataka verse number four. And then verse number four is a key verse. In Asema, whoever watches the weed. We will not plant. Whoever looks at the clouds, we will not reap. Can you see that? Verse number four is the key. Whoever watches the weed, ukiangalia two people, we will not plant. Whoever looks at the cloud will not reap. Anasema kuba kutanesha, hava sita haribu hapo. So I'll find kuangalia environment. Don't allow the surrounding to govern you. Skiza from your spirit. Do for some hair, bebo ya kusama hair, Kile ambacho napanda, it is from your spirit. Usiangalia the clouds. Usiangalia upepo. Atu watu wanafanya na managana. Upepo, usiangalia upepo. Usiangalia vile kuko. No. Manaiku ukiangalia hautavuna. Ukiangalia mawibu hautavuna. Tusema kuna nyesha. Mawibu inakana managani. Kuko na managani. Kuna wibu inas... Don't allow the environment, the surrounding to affect kile ambacho nila kufanya. Na tasa kuna tobo na sama kwa nitafanya kitu, nitafanya kitu. You keep on saying ya kwa kwa nitafanya, do it. You keep on saying ya kwa kwa open this company, open that company, do it now. Usiangaria cloud, usiangaria upepo. What you are showing so now. Hakuna time kwa sama kwa kwa this is the best time, do it right. Remember even Isaac, wakati kulikuwa na jaa. Alipanda wakati kuna famine. Akavuna 100 fold. Watu nakuja timabu ya kue sawa. Kida watu nafanya it is now. Do it by faith. Kuna time ya kupanda na time ya kovuna. Don't say kuna COVID. Siku na otobo beta jirika na COVID. Start it with that COVID. God will see you through. Start that business at Wezi wakua pale. Ati litarogwa. Wacha wakuroge ukua na biyashara. Nini wewe? Wacha wakuroge ukua na hiyo gari. Say it. What a kuroge who said that business. I like Mr. Mugino Rogo Kwetu. I believe my brother ako hapa. I like Mr. Mugino Kwetu. Alisema komba. Atamina komba kuna mchami hatari. Alitaimu sasa. Atamroka. 
ati wakati anatenga nyumba ya mawe <laughs> ati alafu simiti ati korogwe mahali pale ikosa kushikana mpaka na mchanga alafu ikiwe kora mahali pale ina back to vile ilikuwa <laughs> tajioko bamerobwa lakini as long as ina shikana na naendelea kuwekelea mawe na yanaenda juu ah wacha endelea kurogwa i like that you see watu wapo nasema kwamba no matter video madu nasema no matter kana komba kuna kana mna gani you are doing it by faith huyo mzee analijenga sana let me tell you something kuna time ya season but don't also forget this angalia that statement yake kuna time ya cold na time ya heat <laughs> Alipo nasema kwa kikuyu alikuwa anasema kwamba nitajua kwamba nimerogwa. Mudhaka watuka niona dhimiti uko hapo nyitana. Bora zero ngazi na shikana. Na bado anawekelea jiwe, food anawekelea jiwe na inaendelea. Bado huja huja fanya kitu. Right that's it. That's it. As long as you go high. Winning or hanga hawakuwezi kwa sababu kana kombo angekuwa amekuweza, ungekuwa umekufa, but you still alive. You still alive right now. You can still breathe. So season you get to know not only season ya seed and harvest, but still kuna season ya madness na ya cold and heat. Wakati wa baridi na wakati wa jua. Usiku tukomba una baridi. Na kila mtu anapitia hii season, ukuta kwamba kuna baridi. And that's why I believe. <laughs> Woo! That's why I believe. Bwana sima kwamba don't allow your love to grow cold. Kwa kuna wakati wa cold, kuna wakati wa baridi. Winter, wakati wa sama. Unakuta kwamba kuna baridi. Unakuta kwamba sister hawezi over. Remember uh, wakati wa baridi watu wengi sana mpaka nguo una change. Hawezi vaa nguo zile uko unavaa wakati wa baridi. So season kuna vile inaitisha. Kwa sababu wakati kuna cold kuna nguo zinaitishwa pale. Wakati kuna heat na ni tofauti sana. But it matters a lot. Wakati kuna baridi ya kiroho, what do you do, sister? Do you allow that season to affect you? Or you control the season? We are called to control the season, not the season to control us. Watu wakati kuna heat kubwa. Let me tell you something about heat kidogo. Agalia, wakati kuna jua. I read the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter number 18 Genesis 18 verse 1 Genesis 18 verse 1 Genesis 18 verse 1 Don't miss this one It is good Genesis 18 Genesis 18 verse 1 inayo easy see this Mbalazima ukoje iku control before hata ileta Bible. <laughs> Genesis, Genesis 18 verse 1. Genesis 18 verse 1. Look at that. The Bible says, And the Lord appeared unto him in the place of Mamli, and he sat, he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. Can you hear that? So kulikuwa na wakati wa hit wakati na kuna ile tunasema kuna jua Abraham alikuwa amekaa hot under mamri tree I learned that Tree of mamri mark that alikuwa amekaa chini ya mti wakati kuna jua mahali pale kwa tent door wakati kuna hit God appeared to Abraham So wakati kuna jua, wakati kumewaka, wakati biashara yako ikumewaka hakuna ma customers. Wakati kumewaka kwa ndoa, wakati kumewaka kimaisha nikuta kwamba jua ni kali sana. Remember vile Bobo nasema. Mm. Oh God. God appeared to Abraham that time. Mungu na manifest hata wakati kuna mambo ni makali sana na pia Mungu anasema kwa hatakubali uchomo na jua. That season ba hatakubali. Pora yambia timu of the be prepared in and out of season. In and out be prepared. 
So isu kubali komba ukuwe na baridi ya kiroho. No. Sister, control the season. Don't allow the season to control you. Usu kubali kwa sabu umeinukiwa. Unasema kubali na uyu hauta sabu kwa huta ina tutach. Control the season. Don't allow the season to control you. Imagine. Don't allow. Kuna time ya baridi na kuna time ya angalia next angalia vivi nasema kwamba kuna time ya winter na time ya summer. Mm. Watu wana nasikiza hapa kuna watu sasa hii winter imeanza kuingia kwao. Eh na winter iko kwa mchezo. Huku Kenya hatuna winter. <laughs> winter iko kwa mchezo. Mwana kutoka kwa in the bible kulikuwa na winter houses. Mahari walikuwa na kaa kwa nyumba. That's why hata Jesus Christ alisema kwamba watu waombe kurudi kwa Yesu Kristo kusikuwe time ya winter kwa sababu watu wengi sana wageachwa lakini see that was that's not fit as eh ilikuwa inasema kwamba the tribulation period kwa sababu hiyo but still tunaweza pray inaweza pray kwetu wakati watu wako na baridi za kiroho doors imejaa baridi services imejaa baridi praises wamejaa baridi kwa sababu ni winter kuna time ya winter mpaka spiritual kuna winter bilidi ni kali sana ya kiroho Sisi blessed tuko pamoja winter imeanza huko bado Ulisa watu bomba umepitia winter tukwambia Eh mama kwaza nasema kwamba bilidi kama chacha that's it kuna hiyo winter ya spiritual winter but don't forget na don't forget this time kila season ina benefit zake Yeah. Tukisema kwamba kukuwe na mvua kila wakati hata mkipanda begu itaharibika. Tunaelewana? Nimsema na. Tunasema kwamba kukuwe na jua kila wakati mtapanda lini? So that's why kuna hizo zina mix kuna wakati wa jua, kuna wakati wa baridi, kuna wakati wa so zinasaidia. Kuna benefit. That's why kuna mchana na kuna usiku. Do you know kuna vile kuna happen usiku by the way? Do na sana about tulikuwa tunasoma siku soma biology nilikataa biology siku napenda biology Mimi okay mimi nilikuwa napenda chem nilifanya chemistry na physics that's it that's it hizo ni tamu sana so siku siku fanya biology nilikataa biology but i remember for those things is <laughs> but una take place usiku So still usiku una benefit zake mchana kuna benefit zake tunaelewana So kila season ina benefit so somehow you may not like it but kuna benefit Let me ask you season na kukontrol au na control season baridi imeingia kwako or not au sio kutoka kwa kwa giza unakuta kwa mambo yako ni giza tu na kana kwa endelee can you hear that but let me tell you something let me tell you something kuna watu ambao wanapenda the sons of Isaac. Walikuwa na descend the times and seasons. Na walikuwa naambia wana Waisraeli kile ambacho wanafaa kufanya. First Chronicles 2:32. Sons of Isaac. Walikuwa na descend the times and seasons. Walikuwa naambia kwamba wakati season iko iko hivi, mnafaa kufanya hivi. Wakati kama huu mnafaa kufanya hivi. Is good to descend the times even sasa. Touch zile times uko nazo tuko nyakati za kumalizia we are waiting now the rapture of the church kia bad aga Are we together? The sun season friend of fuck for the nini. Wakati hata hauna kazi, what are you supposed to do? The Bible says the sons of Isaac. Call. 
Wako ni sana times and season. So wakati talubeti kwa almost kufika. Wakati tunajua kwa tuko nyaka. The Bible says Daniel aliomba wakati alijua kwamba wakati Mungu alikuwa ameprofesa 70 years miaka atarudisha watu pale kwa kutoka Babylon akaanza kwa sababu ali understand times maneno watu wabona understand times and season nao wana engage prayer wana engage kwa maombi maneno maombi yanakusaidia wakati we understand the times and season Isaac alikuwa na sanyo anasema kile ambacho nafaa kufanya sababu ni vyema kujua kwamba what am i supposed to do now Hakuna kitu. Bado kuna watu ambao nalijenga. Kuna my friend, sio kana kwamba kwa hapa nalijenga sana. Anajenga <laughs> sana. Hiyo kwamba wakati wa mvua ikifika, anatafuta anatafuta gumboots and a supply. Gumboots and a supply. Nazi naenda. Najua season. Ukifika ni watoto wanarudi shule, anatafuta vitabu, ana supply. Na anaenda bele sana. Anajua hii season ya nini? It's good to understand the season. What are we this good to understand the season? You go to another season. Then control the season. Don't allow the season to control you. That's it. That's it. It's my prayer. You do right down here. Alielewa kwamba kumeandikwa. And the word of God. Let me say this before ni malize. The word of God will help you. On the way forward. Let the word of God instruct you. Let the word of God guide you. Wakati mabu ni mazidu. Wakati mabu ni magumu. Let the word of God govern you always. Simple. And God bless you. Uh, we meet tomorrow. Wakati nangari about the rainbow. Tunangari about the covenant of Noah. Tunangalia mara ya kwanza nyo, 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 nyama kuruhusiwa kukuliwa. Tomorrow, Genesis chapter number 9, don't miss it. As we dig deep, mara ya kwanza nyama ziliruhusiwa kukuliwa. Maneke mpaka hapo tumefika, vinadamu haku wanakula nyama. Until time walitoka kwa ark, haka ruhusiwa kula nyama. So, tangalia yu tomorrow, diyo hizo nyama ziliruhusiwa kukuliwa. Na tutangalia kwa undani kabisa. But don't allow the season to control you. Control the seasons. When like you carry the power and the knowing of God. Be prepared in and out of season. Wakati kugumu. Let the word of God govern you. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. Kwa kile kitu nafanya. In Jesus name. Baba karika tina takatifu. Labana iso kuriso. Sante kwa ema wako. Sante kwa ufu zako. Umetunenea baba. Umefungua matu yetu. Tusaidie Jehovah God kupanda mambo ambayo yanafaa ili baba tu yavune baba saidia hawa watu kusima maana neno waonekani wengine baba laina o mambo yao ni magumu wengine baba kikazi wengine baba kindoa wanangangana i pray ya kwamba Jehovah God kwa hiyo season wapitia you are fighting for them you are guiding them you are empowering them in the name of Jesus Christ asante baba kwa wema wako hawa watu wamebarikiwa wale ambao wana nguvu wamepata nguvu wale ambao wanahitaji uponyaji wamepona wale ambao wanahitaji kuinuliwa mawainua Jehovah tunakupenda kwa maana wewe ni mtakatifu na wewe ni utakatifu kwetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuna bana hata kuamini amen and amen and amen and amen thank you great people asante kwa kuja hapa kusikiza mahubiri nyinyi watu ambao mnapenda neno kila mtu ambaye anakuja kusikiza neno ah au oh, mabarikiwa vijina njaga thank you magi thank you anita god bless you irene god bless you nani say thank you kenaya patrick ubera angel Win Miner, thank you, God bless you, really, Njambuna, but it goes on, Hannah Moura, thank you, Papetua, Blessed Monica Faith, Duta K, Mary, Naluse Kayemi, thank you, Mary Wajiro, Wenina, God bless you, tomorrow will be in the church, by the way, praying for people, Kenade, but it goes on, Yorada, God bless you, Ben Ki, Monica, Lips, thank you, and everybody, thank you, God, tomorrow, they are, they are partnering with us, them that are supporting us, what are you going to reason about? I have my number 0726-511-72. 0726-511-72. Just call me with that number or text me. Uh, 0726-511-72. Call me with that number. I'll answer. <laughs> okay.
Animula, how are you doing? Long time. God bless you. Name more guy. Thank you, Mom Grace. That's my number. You can call me. And, uh, <laughs> okay, sawa. The message is getting up to the summer. Kwa hivyo, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow don't miss. Sutangalia, no alikosea kukunya wine. Anu wabu watu ya chambo tomorrow, no alikosea kukunya wine. Ukikunya popo, mkulisa nafaa kukunya wine. Na no, awa nafaa kukunya popo. Anu masode boto njibu tomorrow. Wakati tunangalia wakati no alikunya wine. Alafu waka, akarara uchi. The first person, kwa baibu tunawana kwa mba mekunywa, was no. Tuangali ya mwabu ya kukunywa tomorrow, uh, mm -hmm. hili tusaidi wa tomo wana kunywa kunywa tu. Susan, fema thank you. Saro, may God bless you. And uh, 0726541792. Our two number is 677815. 677815, our two number. Tunatua willingly. We are not forced willingly. Thank you for them who are partying with us. By the way, any time from now we are starting our mjengo. And uh, kuna watu wabu wame maliza um, hili ya nini walikuwa mesema watatoa. Na kuna watu wabu wame maliza. Na uti unani vibaya sana. Kujifunga na maneno. Unasema kwa ba hili itafanya hivi. Alafu hiyo maneno. Hiyo, hiyo vaho ni mbaya sana. Ineza kufinyi ni sana. Atika nea wanasema kanini tukoro. Tutangalia tomorrow. Hi to everyone. <coughs> Uh, 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 God bless you. Angali, hii watu nasema, hii, hii watu nasema kidogo watisi mbaya. Tutangalia biblical scripture, by the way. Tutaichambua from Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, in the New Testament. Paul anasema na mnagani. Hii, hii ya likuwa naandikia Timothy, hii kidogo. Tuangalie. Hmm. Hama, tutaichambua sana hama mbo. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Samuel Rongo. God bless you. Jerry Dodo, barikuwa sana. So tomorrow be in the church kuongena watu. Tukua na ongea. Ifuna swari tomorrow. Ifuna prayer. Request us. And to me tomorrow be in the church praying. Hmm. That is the stomach. I think if you want to say, I don't know what. Tutanga liya. <laughs> but thank you kwa watu wabua walivishi mtoto wangu birthday thank you tukwa na birthday mzumi sana god bless you asant kwa watu wabua lituma cake thank you thank you you know what I want up zana thank you my 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 so evangelist michael thank you kwa kupin that nini watu number na wanamba kuna mtu wabua nataka number hapa na nini uh Yes, I could take a Yeah, I am up to Angaria. I think it's like Angaria, Mambo tomorrow. Here, here, he should take a more than tomorrow. And uh, Azima Mugwa Tatunamea Sana, kwa Gia Kubo Sana and Gia Kimajabo. So tomorrow it's a poor Kalisana. <coughs> we meet tomorrow and uh, Tunapo in Giria. If you have a request, you need to meet through the 0726511712. You need to meet. Let's continue. <laughs> ni msa anawiza kana kamba kuna kiki mebaki Ya, yeah, bado hiko, bado hiko Ya yeah. <laughs> Mary Dongo, how are you doing? So, God bless you, munga wanekanie uh, We meet tomorrow Shalom <laughs>